at two-time Formula Chip champion, going against Tony B, Tony Bronco, Yapa, Cooper Tires, local North Cowboy, rocking the trip to play and lighting up those Cooper Tires. Sammy Hoven at transition. Oh, look at Tony B, to be nice and aggressive right there. As Sammy Hoven at approaching the second to last clip. Make some noise for Sam Hubinette and Tony Bronco Hiapa. Sam Hubinette, two time Formula Jeff champ in 2004, our inaugural year. And then uh, Leapfrog and Reese in 2006, he was Formula Jeff champ. So 04 and 06 was Sam Hubinette. And Tony B, Tony Bronco Hiapa, been banging away for years. And uh, the Ford Mustang, the stallion of Tony B on Cooper tires, worked on by Drift and Poirier. I'm running that Tuskegee Airmen graphic in honor of the African American fighter squadron in World War II, so uh, in homage of the Tuskegee Airmen, it's kind of a cool graphic, as well as uh, Sam Hubinette, congratulations to him and his wife expecting a baby, so uh, congratulations to Stina and Sam, H uh, in addition to the Hubinette family, so congratulations to you guys, and you got to imagine in Stina's stomach, that thing's going to be clutch kicking, waiting, waiting to get out, so they're now going to switch it up as Sam Hubinette operating his own team here, Sam Hubinette Racing, BF Goodrich, Dodge Motorsports. Dodge Challenger. They're now going to switch it up as Tony B, Tony Bracco Hiapa, local NorCal boy, going against Sam Hubinette. The name like Hubinette, obviously not from uh, from the States. Hubinette being from Sweden. He's got some meatballs. As Tony B is going to lead, Sam Hubinette is going to give chase. Coming down the pipe, send it. Watch how early they initiate as Tony B initiates on the second cone. Pretty shallow angle there. Oh, Sam Hubinette. <laughs> Sam Hubinette locks him up and goes off course. Tony B was really shallow on that initiation, I gotta say, but uh, as a chase car, you need to utilize the lead car as a moving clipping point. Wherever that lead car goes, you need, wherever that lead car goes, the chase car needs to follow. Make some noise for Tony Bronco Hiapa and Samuel, the crazy sweet Hubinette, as we do some house cleaning here, the corner workers. Looks like Tony B's car is uh, the back bumper stuck there. And uh, we're going to clean up some cones. Again, thank you guys for coming out. Uh, be sure to wear sunscreen. Stay hydrated. Also, if you guys are hungry or thirsty, up here atop the bleachers, there's a bunch of food vendors and drink vendors up here. Got funnel capes, got some tri-tip sandwiches, got burritos up here. Bunch of stuff. Stefan, get involved. They don't have any euros for you. I know you're Greek, but they, they do have some other food up here that you can you can indulge in. So uh, come on up here. Got some hot dogs and tri-tips again. So uh, come on up here. If you're thirsty or hungry, atop the bleachers are a bunch of vendors, food vendors. Also, come check out the Just Drift booth. Uh, if you're drifting, you want to get involved in drifting, you guys have a great series as well as a pro-am championship you have a great uh, you have all the venues the thunderdrift guys the thunderdrift.com thunderdrift.com check it out a pro-am series track days instructional the norcal drift spot check out thunderdrift.com come check out the vehicles up here including ryan cato's car and many of the other vehicles up here check out thunderdrift.com if you want to get involved here in the bay area going to the judges Andy Yen says Tony Bracco Hiapa. Ernie Fixmer says Sam Hubinette. And Tony Angelo says Tony Bracco Hiapa. Tony B gets the win. Tony B gets the win. Majority rules as Andy Yen and Tony Angelo goes for Tony Bracco Hiapa. Let me get a little clarification there from you, Tony. Uh, as we saw Sam Hubinette, again, I talk about the lead car needs to run through. The chase car needs to utilize that lead car as a moving clipping point. You and Andy went with Tony B, and he gets the win. Yeah, it just looked, it just looked to us like... Uh, you know, it was definitely Sam's mistake uh, gauging speed or initiation. We checked the numbers, and Tony actually added a couple of miles an hour from his uh, earlier initiation and in qualifying. So speed was there. Sam just misjudged it, uh, went off track a little bit, wound up hitting him. We'd like to see uh, if there's incidental contact like that. Uh, you try to you keep pushing and keep going. It would have been nice to see Tony B still push his run through, but obviously a big mistake on Sam's part, and that did it. Well, there you have it from the horse's mouth, Tony. I'm not calling you a horse, but uh, as the saying goes, 